Do you eat when you're stressed? Do you eat when you're bored? Some people it's the sweets, some people it's overeating in general. This is not about you and the carbs. This is not about you and the donuts, you and the overeating, you and the late night snacking. It's not about that anymore. But what does that mean and, and why? If we find out why, why are we doing this? Ask yourself the next time you're doing that, is it really necessary to do that? And the weight will just melt off. I'm telling you, it is incredible. Well, you know what, when it comes to uh, diabetes, I think diet typically, you know, and, and nutrition and such. Uh, what are your recommendations for managing high blood sugar? Well, definitely managing our glucose levels and our insulin. So insulin is the big, the big guy here that we really have to balance our insulin levels. And insulin, of course, spikes whenever we have yeah. carbohydrates and certainly the worst carbohydrates are the refined sugars it's all the sweets and the refined uh, sugar which we see here but yeah. also the refined grains so right. whether that's white flour and this really spikes our insulin levels and this can you know overwhelm the liver over a period of time the liver basically at, at one point is going to give up and say I can't deal with all of this anymore it becomes very fatty when we hear about fatty liver this is an ongoing concern and certainly on the rise and and then this is that indication now that the insulin is is having difficulty and actually causes insulin resistance so this is something in terms of diet we want to manage those carbs in the diet and i'm not saying to to try to go you know completely off carbs some people can do that and yeah. do the keto lifestyle and, and that's great for them yeah. whether it's long term or not i i question that i've done the keto for a period of time oh, and okay. i find for my own personality mm -hmm. and my own lifestyle and the amount of stress that i have and the kids and everything it was very difficult to maintain that for a long period of time so i think definitely going keto i definitely eat a low carb diet myself to balance my insulin and i know when i have too much sugar uh, in anything that right. I'm eating, it could even be juice or fruit or, or a cocktail. Yeah. <laughs> if that spikes my insulin, I can feel yeah. it and I feel a little bit spacey and, and I'm very sensitive now in my own body because I've trained my body. Yes. And that's what we're gonna teach you is how to train your body to, and, and part of the, the next point that we're talking about, the fasting will, will train your body into you know, recognizing when you're spiking that insulin and, and not having to use a glucose monitor, which I know a lot of people do, you should be able to feel it in your own body when your insulin is spiking and be able to manage that appropriately. So big topics we're talking today, Norm. A lot of people can become carb addicted too, right? Absolutely, and why is that? Well, well carbs are very addicting and again, it's almost like being on drugs and, and studies have shown that carbohydrates are much like cocaine and even more addictive, especially refined sugars. Because they make us feel good. Exactly, okay. and you get that hit of feeling good, just like I wouldn't know about you know drugs right. and things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get that, fit, that hit of feeling good and then you want more of that. So then of course, as your blood sugar is is tanking what happens is that you need that next hit of that sugar and that's why people become overweight is because they keep needing that hit of sugar spiking that insulin the liver gets overwhelmed and it's this ongoing domino effect so you know one of the best things to help to mitigate this is fasting so there's fasting and then there's intermittent fasting. So have you heard about these? I have, I mean, to yeah. me, this show is an intermittent fast because I generally don't go more than about 45 minutes lately without eating. Oh no. But uh, <laughs> tell us about intermittent fasting. So intermittent fasting means that you're gonna choose a time during the day that is your eating window so definitely you know you want to keep this window not too long and that's the whole thing about fasting is that you're going to have a period during your 24-hour cycle in which you're not eating so <laughs> the most typical type of intermittent fasting is a 16-8 meaning that you're eating for eight hours during the day so you choose your window of eight hours when you can eat and then you're fasting for the other 16 hours of that day and okay. this then makes it it a little bit easier to do the fasting certainly doing the longer fasts yeah. which there is definitely studies that have shown that this helps with autophagy meaning the longevity and the, our cell cleanup in our body we'll right. do a whole other show yeah. just on autophagy and and how that's so interesting yeah. but that that whole thing about the intermittent fasting and, and the prolonged fasting the intermittent fasting is much easier 
And why is that? Because you are able to eat in that certain window of time. So you choose the best time. And I always recommend with intermittent fasting that you're choosing the window of eating time when you need to eat. So typically that's during the day, you know, in the middle of the day for most people, you choose that eight hours and then you fast for the rest. So that means no late night snacking for most people. Um, sometimes it's skipping breakfast, depending on where your eight hours are, but okay. it's, it is, and I, I've done both. I've done the prolonged fast, but also I've done the intermittent fasting and I find the intermittent fasting is definitely easier to do. Yes. And if you're wanting to ease your way into fasting, then the intermittent fasting is definitely an easier way to do that. And you know, are you, are you up for it? Are you going to try am, it? I'm yeah. totally up for it. It does sound easier. It still yes. sounds to me like a bit of a challenge. Yeah. Late night snacking, uh, eating before bed. I know that's not a good thing. No. But I'm, and that reminds me to remind you to leave your questions and comments uh, in the comments section below. Dr. Janine is online to answer your questions during the show. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell so you can get notifications of the next shows coming up.